Testing, testing, testing. Okay, are we on? Uh, my computer hates me, and this is actually the fourth take. Fourth take! It's not funny. Okay, well, it is, but I don't think so. I like to say that there are no unfunny jokes, just ill-timed ones, and whether you think a joke is a, you know, good or bad joke, but it depends on whether or not you think it's funny. As a, it's a matter of perspective, as I addressed in the previous video. So yes, uh, this is the follow-up video to Good and Bad, this time in terms of language. And uh, my computer hates me, so you'll have to forgive me if... Okay, well, you don't have to forgive me, but please forgive me if this is a little choppy. Please forgive me. I beg thy forgiveness. Okay, into the topic. Well... In the description, down, down there, not that down there, you perverts, no, in the description below this video, I will, I have linked one of my favorite videos here on YouTube that basically sums up my views on good and bad in terms of language. It, it's interspersing between George Carlin and Richard Pryor, two of my favorite comedians, and their take and their stances on the N-word, the word nigger. And I'm just going to say it, not because I'm black and it's socially justified, but because I hate euphemisms more than I hate the actual word, and I'm trying to make a point here. I'm not going to dress up my language. Okay? Penis. Moving on. Huh, this is what happens when I take the script away. Um, Dr Richard Pryor in his parts of the video, says essentially that um, black people never were niggers because it was a word that was used to dehumanize us as a race, as a group of people. And you know, the fact is race doesn't really exist, not in a biological sense, it's really more social, but that's, that's, a, that's slightly unrelated, I think. It's certainly not the topic I'm trying that I'm talking about here. No, um, shit. Yes, uh, we we never were niggers. It, it's a word that was used to dehumanize us, and we came from Africa. So since the human species originated in Africa, we're really about as human as it gets. And uh, for those of you wondering, I'm I'm just keeping the sunglasses on because I think I look good right now. Don't like it? Sit on this and bounce. But uh -huh. yeah, I went there. Okay, so what I was saying was that it's a dead word. That's what Richard Pryor said, and I agree with him. It's a dead word. It means not. It essentially means non-human, and, well, you can't tell me I'm not a human. I've got a backbone. I mean, I've got a backbone, so that right there, that fact alone rules out most of the other animals on this planet that I could possibly be. And I clearly don't have feathers, so I can't be a bird, but this isn't related to my personal taxonomy that shows you why I am a human. Richard Pryor also said that he doesn't ever want to be called nigger, he'll never call anybody else nigger, and neither will I. It's a, it's a dead, meaningless word that means non-human. That's the context in which it was used, and I'll get to that in a second. And really... We're just perpetuating it. I mean, frankly, the whole species is perpetuating a lot of dumb shit these days. I... Well, it's a long list, but I, I think you might have a pretty good idea of what I would call dumb shit. Or maybe you don't. But that's not the point I'm going to make here. Moving on to George Carlin. He said in his parts of the video that there's absolutely nothing wrong with the word nigger in and of itself problem is the racist asshole using the word. And I agree with that, and I extend the same logic to all of those socially derogatory words, you know, cunt, faggot, kike, wetback, what have you, for pretty much the same reason. A word is simply an idea. It's a verbalized idea. And ideas are harmless. The real problem is loonies with ideas, i.e. politicians. All politicians. Carlin pointed out how, you know, nobody gives a shit if Richard Pryor or Eddie Murphy says nigger. Why? Well, we know they're not racist. They're niggers! 
It's a matter of context. We don't mind their context because we know they're black. For a more modern day example, maybe you remember a couple of years ago, Jerry Lewis said the word faggot at two different telethons. Okay. People got all butthurt about it. No pun in. Okay, pun intended. But why don't. What if Elton John had been there instead? People would have still gotten upset, sure. But I think for the most part, people would have gotten upset more because of the timing. It was the event, a telethon. There's lots of people here, there's folks watching, possibly even little kids. Little kids being exposed to bad language. Oh my god! Or is that bad language too? Yeah, bad language is bullshit, folks. In that particular setting, again, as I said, it was the timing, but as for the actual wording, well, we don't mind Elton John's context because we know he's gay. It's just a matter of perspective. Context. And speaking of context, my thin-skinned friends... Uh, I just said that. I hope that you know how to take insults well, because that's the next part I'm going to address. Insults. Well, the fact is, there's no real, there are very few real reasons, if any, to get offended over pretty much anything, if you ask me. Um, I, I don't, I don't like it when folks get offended. No, no, no. Uh, how do I want to, how do I want to put this? Okay, um, I think what I want to say here, yes, uh, what I want to say here is that there's really no real reason to get offended. I know I said that. Now let me explain. I take it we're all familiar with the saying, the ends justify the means. And if we're not, well now you are because I just said it. Familiarize yourself with it. One of my teachers told me that it's not the attempt that really matters so much, it's the result. It's the ends, not so much the means. Now, of course, that, that doesn't really justify cheating on a test and passing, but that's a different topic. And... <laughs> different topic, different topic. Stay on topic, Charles. Stay on topic. Okay. What I'm saying, let's say uh, some random person, we'll just call this person Ryan. Let's say Ryan calls me an idiot. I think we're all familiar with the context of the word idiot, or rather the common context, since I've only heard it used in one context, and... Uh, I th and, uh... Well, I haven't heard idiot used in any other context, I mean, maybe sarcastically, but sarcasm is different. The uh, context, this context is meant to be insulting, bad, another variation of bad, and you know how I feel about bad, and if you don't, go and watch the previous video, and you will totally understand. Or maybe not totally, but you'll have an idea, but you'll see where I stand on it. Well, Ryan's trying to do something that he thinks I would view as bad. But the thing is, I don't view myself as... That's his attempt. Here's the result. It's like... Insults to me are like water off a duck's back, baby. They mean nothing. And here's why. Using Ryan, you know, he calls me an idiot hoping to insult me. Well, the thing is, I don't see myself as an idiot, so... You've gone absolutely nowhere. I don't see myself as an idiot. Now, of course, I don't see myself as a genius. And, yeah, I've done some fairly idiotic things, but who hasn't? It's not like, you know, I'm not Lindsay Lohan. I'm, I don't make big fuck-ups on, on a fairly consistent basis. At least I don't think I do. But I wouldn't call myself an idiot, and because I don't see myself as an idiot, if you call me an idiot, well, I'd probably just say, okay, do you think that? What? What? How do you support this claim? Is it something I did? Is it something I said? Something I didn't do? You tell me. I'm lost here. And even if I was an idiot, well, number one, you're only stating a fact. Some might even say you're stating the obvious, and, and we all know what we say about people who state the obvious. I mean, unless you're telling somebody who can't see what's going on, what's going on, then there's no real reason to state the obvious because it's obvious. That should be perfectly obvious. Holy shit, I think I just contradicted myself. But even if I was an idiot, besides the fact that you're stating a fact, I'd probably be too stupid to realize you're trying to insult me. 
So, there you go. In the end, if somebody tries to insult you, it's either going to be a lie or a statement of fact. And if it's a lie, well, then there's no real reason to get upset. It's not true now, is it? If it's a statement of fact, well, still there's no real reason to get upset because you should face the facts and possibly do something about them if it's possible. Well, that was a Department of Redundancy department. Uh, possibly do something about it if possible. Yeah. The point I'm making here is... It's like what Abraham Lincoln said. It is better to keep silent and be thought a fool than to open one's mouth and remove all doubt. If I get all butthurt over being called an idiot, that just shows I acknowledge it as a weakness. And I've proven the other person's point. Yoda said, Do or do not, there is no trying. Mm. Yeah, I know, bad imitation. Whatever. It's not about my imitation of Yoda. It's about what he said there. As I said, it's the result that matters, not so much the attempt. If I attempt, I try to get a cat out of a tree with a ladder, by, cli that is, by climbing the ladder, of course, not by whacking at the branches with the ladder. Come on. That's not going to work. Well, it might work. Uh, another topic. Well, let's say I fall off the ladder and hurt myself. Well, we did say that I tried to get the cat out of the tree. I didn't, because either the cat's still in the tree, or maybe it jumped out of the tree on its own or whatever, but I didn't get the cat out of the tree. So my try is pretty much voided. Now, of course, I can always try again, but, you know, again, there's no guarantee I'm going to get the cat out of the tree. There never was a guarantee I would get the cat out of the tree, but, of course, there never was a guarantee I wouldn't get the cat out of the tree. Which brings me to, you know, it's all, it's, a lot of things are pretty much 50-50, you know what I mean? Because either I get the cat out of the tree, or I don't. It's like a weatherman, you know what they say, they get paid, they're called weathermen because they get paid whether they're right or whether they're wrong. And you know how you know how they say we've got a 30% chance of rain today. Well, now I'm no meteorological genius. In fact, I hardly know anything about meteorology to be honest. You know, it rains some days, it doesn't rain some others. Well, there you go. They might say we have a 30% chance of rain, but at the end of the day, either it rained or it didn't. Just something to think about, you know. I mean, I, d I don't know exactly what 30% chance of rain means, but again, I'm not a meteorologist. If you could enlighten me, I'd, I, I'd be happy, I guess. I'd look it up myself, but it's boring and I'm busy. Busy wasting my time with well shit like this. And wasting my time at college, but that's different, you know? We all know how, we all know how fucked up the school system these days is. Uh, well, I think that's the main point I wanted to make. That's the show. Thanks for watching. Yada yada. So yeah, may the force be with you. Ride the tiger! Join the heavy metal fight! In no way do I wish the evil eye upon.